for up getting the kiddos ready to go to school this morning. You should know that I, I, Austin ISD has taken a couple of steps this week toward rebuilding two elementary schools. There is T.A. Brown Elementary mm -hmm. School and then there is Menchaca Elementary School. They are being rebuilt for two different reasons. But first, let's talk about Brown Elementary School because rebuilding it has been two years in the making. Yeah, so people wanting to know why it has taken so long. AISD abruptly closed T.A. Brown in November 2016 because of structural concerns. An engineer's report found that the crawl space subfloor had some issues that made the school unsafe for students, and those kids never went back to T.A. Brown in October of last year. The district then tore the building down. So this morning, the first step in building and rebuilding, we should say, is a site dedication. That's what's happening today. And Chris Davis is joining us this morning with a closer look. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, John and Sally. So a site dedication that we're talking about here is kind of like a step before the groundbreaking. The new T.A. Brown that they're going to be rebuilding is going to be here on the site of the old school. But when that school first closed down, KXAN took a look at the engineer reports for all of AISD schools and found 11 others with ratings of poor for those same subfloor concrete structures that caused T.A. Brown to close. The problems weren't as bad as they were here, but the engineers recommended more study and repairs. So with these bond funded projects now moving forward, we checked with the district to see what's happening with those other 11. Silker Elementary is one of the schools with a poor rating for some substructures. Engineers included pictures of some of the problems in their report, like cracks and corrosion. Those schools being occupied doesn't put anyone at risk. AISD's Construction Management and Facilities Executive Director says they had to prioritize projects with this bond money. There's about $5 billion in need, he says, and only a billion to go around from this bond. The worst were put first. Uh, so that those needs can be addressed. And then as we move through the bond, uh, obviously we're addressing the, the rest of those needs. Zilker will get subfloor improvements as part of the 2017 bond. Just up the road, Barton Hills Elementary will not. That school also rated as poor. In all, seven of the 11 schools KXAN identified as needing them in 2016 are getting those subfloor improvements by 2020. Zilker, Graham, Sunset Valley, and Williams Elementary Schools, and Betacek, Dobie, and Webb Middle Schools. The other four will have to wait for other funding. So we can address those things that are still out there and outlying and, and how to best address those. The district says maintenance teams are working hard to make sure the problems don't get worse in the meantime. Now, those four schools that are not on uh, the list for those subfloor structural improvements this time around, those are, again, Barton Hills, Odom, and Oak Hill Elementary Schools, and Garza Independence High School. And I want to be really clear here. It's not that those schools are not getting any of the bond money this time around. They all are. Just none of it is earmarked specifically for those same structural improvements that the engineers back in 2016 recommended that they get. And we asked the district about when and where funding might come from for those improvements, and we'll let you know as soon as they respond. We'll send it back to you. Chris, thank you very much. And tomorrow the district is going to break ground on another new school, Menchaca Elementary. Students are the ones that are going to be mm -hmm. doing the honors there instead of the school officials and the yeah. developers and all the official folks. It's very cute. Next month, AISD plans to break ground on two more, Go Valley and Dawes. For more information on what's being done at your kid's school, we've got links on our website at kxan.com. But Menchaca is only going to be rebuilt because that school is um, very old. Uh, it doesn't have those structural problems that Chris was talking about.